I am going to show you how to polish silver today. I'm really excited. So the first thing you need is a polishing cloth. I like to use the Mayflower cloth. Um, I have really good luck with it. It, it unfolds. I've, this is one that I've used on my personal things. So you can see it's gonna have three separate cloths, actually four if you count one, two, three, four, um, that you're gonna be able. So I always putting this on the cloth here and I have this bracelet here that is Hawaiian. You can see it's really well rested or uh, oxidized rather. I like to say rested, but it's not the right term. The term is oxidized. And it actually is really fascinating um, because you'll be able to see the transformation as we go. So this is a pin here and it is stamped. Um, it is stamped, so we'll see if we can get that tarnish off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub, make sure you can see it well here. I'm just gonna rub it. I like to get a Netflix movie. As you can see, it's already coming off there on the heart. I like to get a Netflix movie on and get all my silver and just go through and just slowly rub it. With this one, it's really intricate and it's a really special piece to me. So it's important um, that I take care of it and just slowly, slowly do it. It's not gonna be as like shiny as like, I'll show you this one next. So you can kind of see how yellow it is. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm just gonna do this. And you can see it just comes right off. And sometimes people like to just do the oxidization, ox like de taking off all the oxidization just on the top part and leave the in part. I like getting all of it because I like it all to be fresh and shiny, but you can see what a difference that is. And so then what I like to do is I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna do it, give it a once over kind of take the majority of it off. So one way to keep silver from oxidizing is wearing it. The second is they have these anti-tarnish um, squares that I like to get. Um, and you can put it in with the jewelry because the, the oils in your skin and the acetacity level um, is actually what keeps it from being oxidized. So when you're working on silver, if it doesn't say 92.5, like this one doesn't, it just means that it's gonna be harder to clean and I wanted to show you guys a really fun transformation. So if you have something that's really intricate and you're not sure if it's silver, um, I do locally here in the Portland, Vancouver area, um, do jewelry box revivals where I can come over and clean your silver as well as test it. So reach out and connect if that's something you're interested in. And like I said, you know, if you just sit down and Netflix it, you can take your tarnish bracelet and turn it into nice and shiny again. Now I can wear it, yay. Oh, just like that, we got the bracelet all nice and clean. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe.